Hello friends, today we are going to learn a program to alter the content of flag register. So let's consider before execution, let's say content of flag register is 75H. So this 75 can be written as 0, 1 is 7 and 5 can be written as 0, 1, 0, 1. So this is 75. Now we want to alter that content. Alter means replace every 0 by 1 and every 1 by 0. So its altered value will become 1 triple 0 and it will become 1 0 1 0. Now 1 triple 1 triple 0 is 8 and 1 0 1 0 is 10. But in hexadecimal format it is written as 8a. So after execution we are expecting our flag register to become 8ah. So this is expected from us. Now how we are going to do it? See, first of all, uh, we should know what is PSW register. PSW register is a collective name of accumulator and flag register. Flag register and accumulator is collectively called as a PSW register. Then what we will do, we will transfer this content of flag register and accumulator on stack stack means vertical memory let's say on 7050h and on 7051h by writing instruction push psw so the content of flag register will come on 7050 and this 7050 will now become 75 and accumulator was 0, 0. We have not taken any value inside the accumulator. Then in next step, we will transfer this content in one of the register. Let's say inside the BC register by writing instruction pop B. By writing instruction pop B. So from memory, it will get copied inside the BC register. Now C will become 75 and B will become 0, 0. Then in next step, we will take this value of C inside the accumulator. So, accumulator will become now 75. For this, we will use instruction MOV A, C. MOV A, C. Now, accumulator has become 75. Then we will take complement of accumulator. And then accumulator will become 8a. How to take complement of accumulator by writing CMA. So ultimately we got 8a in accumulator. But we want that inside the flag register. So everything we will do in reverse. From accumulator we will transfer it to the C register by writing instruction MOV C comma A. From C register. We will transfer the content of C and B register to 7050 and to 7051 by writing instruction push B. So initially we use pop B. Now we are using opposite instruction push B. And from finally 7050 and 7051 we will transfer it to the F and A by writing pop psw so initially we started with push psw now we are using opposite value pop psw and finally our f register will become 8a we started with accumulator 8a and that 8a will get copied inside the flag register in this way we are going to solve our problem so this is the cycle that we are going to follow why we are using this cycle because there is no direct instruction for altering the content of flag there is instruction for altering the content of accumulator so from flag register we will take that inside the accumulator so let's solve this Let's say before execution content of flag register is 75 and on 7000 we are starting our program. So we will initialize the stack by writing instruction LXI SP comma 75 
7050. LXI stands for load register pair immediate. So, what will happen because of this, your stack pointer register will become 7050. So, we are initially initializing our stack to 7050. It is 3 byte instruction. So, the code of LXI SP will come at 7000 and this 7050 is written in, in this order. 50 first after that 70. Then we will perform push PSW. Because of push PSW, the content of accumulator and flag register will get copied on 70 and 5. 7050 and 7051. So 7050 will become 75, which was content of flag register, and 7051 will take the content of accumulator. Over here, we have not taken any content of accumulator. That's why we will assume that accumulator is 00H. Then after pop B, this data we will take inside the BC register pair. So the content of 7050 will come inside the C. Therefore, it will become 75 and content of 7051 will come inside the B and therefore it will become 00. Then from C register, this 75 we will take inside the accumulator by writing MOV A comma C. So our accumulator will become 75. Then we will take complement of it and our accumulator will become 8AH. Now from here we will perform the reverse operation. So initially we have taken from C to A. Now we will take it from A to C. So our C register will become 8AH. Then initially we wrote pop B. Now we will write push B. So that value will get copied inside the 7050 and 7051H. So 7050 will take the value of C register. Therefore, it will become 8A and 7051 will become 00. Then we will write pop PSW. Because of pop PSW, what will happen? These values will get copied inside the F and A register. So F will become 8A and accumulator will become 00. So here we completed our task. We wanted this 8A inside the flag register. So finally we will terminate our program by writing HLT instruction. Thank you.